Hello girls, good morning. Okay, today we're going to uh, continue our discussion on the digestion in the elementary canal. We have done uh, the digestion in the mouth and also the stomach. So now we'll proceed to the small intestines. Okay, the small intestine is very long. It's about 20 to 25 to uh, almost 30 feet. So you will have um, a lot of areas whereby the digestion takes place in the small intestine. Okay, I've mentioned earlier in my previous lesson, the small intestine is divided to three parts. They are called the duodenum, the beginning part of the small intestine, then followed by the jejunum, and the third part is the ileum. Okay, so after the stomach, the chyme that comes from the stomach will be transferred to the duodenum. Chyme is a semi-solid substance which comes out from the stomach after two to four hours of digestion, okay, protein digestion. Okay, at, at the duodenum, okay, bile will be uh, added into the content. Okay, so here bile is stored in the gallbladder, but actually bile is produced in the liver. Okay, bile is called in Cantonese, we call it tam shui. Okay, it's a bit yellowish, greenish color. It actually helps to carry out an important process called emulsification. I'll go into that later. Okay, so bile will be added okay, into the contents here. So this is where the chyme comes out from the stomach. And all these contents here will be added, uh, this bile, through the bile duct. So the bile duct uh, connects the, from the gallbladder to the duodenum. So this uh, liquid, or uh, we call bile, is secreted into it, that is released into the duodenum. Okay, at the same time, you also have another duct called the pancreatic duct, which, uh, which uh, will channel the enzymes from the pancreas. Okay, we'll look at that later as well. So first of all, you'll see that number one, you will have pancreatic juice being added into the duodenum. And another one is the bile. Okay, so you have bile and you have pancreatic juice added into here through the bile duct and also to the pancreatic duct. Okay, now let's look at what's in the pancreatic juice. The pancreatic juice contains three enzymes. So uh, they are called amylase, pancreatic amylase, trypsin, and lipase. So L for lipase, A for amylase, and T for trypsin. So this is how you remember your three enzymes, LAT, yeah, for the, in the pancreas. So each one has its own function. As you know, lipid is to break down, uh, lipase is to break down lipid, and you're going to get glycerol and fatty acids. Amylase, this amylase is just the same as the amylase in the saliva, which uh, breaks down starch into maltose. And trypsin, this one breaks down. Uh, remember earlier on in the stomach, you already have polypeptide as the product. So proteins are broken down into polypeptides. So polypeptides here will be broken down into peptides by trypsin. Okay, afterwards, I will give you a summary of the table, a, a table of summary. You can look at the details later. Okay, let's look at the liver now. Liver produces bile. So remember, it produces bile, not the gallbladder. Gallbladder stores the bile. All right. Okay, and the bile will flow into the duodenum through the bile duct. Now, what is the function of bile? Now, bile is actually not an enzyme. So you need to remember this. It is not an enzyme. It doesn't actually break down the molecule of fat into smaller of uh, units like glycerol or fatty acid. It is actually an su a substance which help to make, uh, let's say, this is a big drop of oil. Okay, it's a big drop of oil. Now the problem with having a big drop of oil or something that is big in surface, uh, big in volume, but less surface area, you find that only if you want to digest this big droplet of oil. Only the outer surface will touch or will come into contact with the enzyme that actually breaks it down. So if your this uh, volume is large but your surface area is small, so you will have a very small TSA per V. Okay, we've learned this earlier. So when you have a small TSA per V, you find that the reaction of the enzyme will be very uh, slow because it's able to occur. Of course, it can able to digest what's on the molecules on the surface, but it's not able to penetrate inside to digest, to act upon the molecules that are inside the middle part of the oil. So what bile actually does is, it breaks up physically. So this is actually a physical 
digestion. This oil is broken up okay, with the action of bile. This big droplet of oil, so let me draw it again. Okay, over here, is broken up into smaller, smaller droplets of oil. Same volume, but now you have more uh, total surface area. Okay, imagine all these droplets actually equal to the volume of this big droplet. So what you have, actually, you have already increased the surface area. Increase the surface area. And that always is always better because you can find now, later on for digestion of the fat, your lipase can penetrate and it can actually touch more surfaces. So your digestion of fat will be faster. So more efficient digestion of uh, lipid if you have your emulsification this process is called emulsification so it breaks down a big drop a big globule or droplet of oil or fat into smaller smaller uh, droplets of oil so it actually increases the surface area for more efficient action of the enzyme later okay so now let's go back to here what is the function of uh, bile. First of all, is to neutralize the acidic chyme. So this one, the chyme came from the stomach, which is quite highly acidic, 1.5 to 2 pH. So now it, it is, uh, we want to neutralize it so that uh, the next stage, actually, uh, you need um, more or less a, um, a neutral condition for the enzymes to work, is, to work at in. So you need to neutralize the acid first. Okay, number two, it prepares an alkali co uh, condition because your bile is um, slightly alkaline. 7.6 to 8.6 for the enzyme action in the duodenum and also in the ileum later. So this is more of the alkal alkaline condition. Number three, this is uh, what I was mentioning earlier, emulsify the lipid. So this is an important action by the bile to break down into smaller, smaller uh, droplets. So this is actually a physical digestion okay, to increase the surface area. So this is not an enzyme. Okay, So please do not, do not uh, make the mistake of saying that bile is the enzyme in uh, the the X, X in the duodenum. Let's go on to the duodenum again. Uh, let's look at the action. Action I already mentioned. Uh, okay, so pancreatic amylase uh, breaks down the starch into maltose. Trypsin breaks down the polypeptide into pe uh, peptides. And the lipase breaks down your lipid into fatty acid and glycerol. So this lipid, the lipase is actually the one that breaks down the fat. The bile just makes it into smaller droplets only. Okay, I hope you get that clear. Okay, now we go on into the later part of the intestine called the uh, ileum, the last part. Okay, now let's go on. Glands on the ileum wall secrete mucus and intestinal juices. So here at the later part of the intest intestines, you have the intestinal juices produced by the goblet cells in the wall of the intestine. It produces one, two, three four and also of the five types of enzymes here <coughs> okay five types of enzymes and the medium in the small intestine is alkaline okay let's look at the action of each type now we're looking at ileum huh? the action in the ileum okay first of all <coughs> excuse me <coughs> maltase hydrolyzes maltose into glucose this is a disaccharide and this becomes mono. So your digestion is already completed in the ileum. Sucrase hydrolyzes sucrose into glucose and fructose. So you need to remember the combination of monosaccharides to get your sucrose. You have to memorize that. Okay, next one. Lactase hydrolyzes lactose into glucose and galactose. So now you will have completed digestion of carbohydrates. Okay, you must get your three types of simple sugar which is your uh, glucose fructose and galactose okay next you will also have a little bit of digestion of lipid if it's not completed in the duodenum if duodenum is started uh, in lipid lipid digestion starts in the duodenum if it's not completed it will be completed at the ileum so lipase again the same action is only one step from lipase you get fatty acids and glycerol same thing as the one in the duodenum. So the duodenum and the ileum, you have the same thing. Okay, and the ileum. Okay, lastly, one more thing. You have erepsin. Now, erepsin is a protease. That means it acts on protein. Erepsin will hydrolyze the peptides earlier on from the um, 
from here you already have peptides in the duodenum so now peptides is still not yet the single or the basic unit of protein you need to break down some more so now we come to the last part the, this peptide will be broken down into amino acids and that is that completes your protein digestion so and in the ileum you have complete digestion of all the three types of food which is carbohydrate protein and lipid and out also in the ileum later on you will have absorption so after digestion you will have absorption of the nutrients into the villus okay now so you can have a look at this uh, barcode scan it to look have a, a better uh, get a video on it and this is the this is the summary of digestion in the elementary canal so if you want to copy it down you can just pause the video and write down your notebook this is a good uh, way to uh, remember and to memorize your enzymes